Come back for it. Got him. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Alright, now I gotta get no, one. No, no, no. Dude, dude. No <laughs> way. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another salmon fishing video. Today, I'm super excited. I'm here on the beautiful river. And today, we are gonna be bottom bouncing some eggs for some coho salmon. I'm super excited to bring you guys this video. I've been coming out the past few days and I've been catching a ton, a ton of these coho salmon. So, I'm super excited. I'm a little out of breath. Just walked quite a bit to the spot, but, uh, we are gonna be bottom bouncing eggs today, like I said. Let me show you guys what I have in store in terms of the eggs. So I have two cures here that I have. One is this, what's up dog? My boy Ben's here. Ooh, jumper. That's my dinner. <laughs> I'm here with my buddy Ben and uh, he's been doing pretty well slaying it. he's been slaying it so see what we can do today I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to get on some fish but famous last words <laughs> so yeah like I was saying these are the two cures that I have uh, one of these is this one is a Posky krill pink cure and this one is a procure krill and prawn. Ooh, shoo. <laughs> so these are the two cures I have. We're gonna try, probably try both, see which one works better. But like I was saying in my last video that I did here with the bottom bouncing eggs, these are super dry. I added a lot of extra cure to make sure that they're super dry because when we're bottom bouncing these eggs and the eggs are bouncing along the bottom, as the name implies, <laughs> you want them to be super tough so that they last. So I'm gonna get strapped in. I'll show you guys my rig when I have it all set up, but let's do it. All right, so first steps first, got my gloves. These aren't actually Procure bait scent gloves. They were, those black ones that I had in the previous video were, but they're a little bit small, so. These ones are just regular like nitrile gloves. I'm not sure what brand, but they fit me a lot better. I have kind of large hands. It's a pain in the ass, but yeah. Get my gloves on, then I'll show you guys what the rod setup and line looks like. So I think I'm gonna start with the tried and true method, the Potsky uh, pink Boraxifier. We'll put this other one away for now and we'll come back to her, see how we do. But yeah, the setup, as I come down here to the river, whoa. the setup I have here on this rod, this is an eight foot uh, Guide Select Pro twitching rod, I think it is but I have 15 pound braid as my main line. And that comes just down to a little swivel where I have a, civil, a snap on it rather, a snap swivel with a little pencil lead. And then like probably a 15 inch leader down to size like one hook, circle hook with a neg loop knot that I tied onto it. So that's the setup, super basic. Ben's already getting after it, so I better get in the water too because I want to catch some fish. So let's do it. So these eggs are super hard. You can kind of tell just by looking at how much cure is on them still, but super hard. Small size chunk, probably about a quarter. Take my egg loop knot, push out the loop, and then Hook this bad boy on, probably twice, just like that. And then wrap this around it. Now I've noticed, definitely very important, 
to have your hook exposed really well, just like that, because sometimes these fish will just choke it, but sometimes they're just nibbling at it. So I feel like if the hook is nicely exposed, it should be decent chance at hooking up. Oh look, there's literally a fish right here, dead. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare, but it looks like a pink or something. All right, first cast. I'm gonna cast like probably about my 11 o'clock. Right to where the water's deep. I like to let some line out to give it a chance to sink a little bit. And then I mend my line to make sure I have enough tension to feel if there's little nibbles. And I'm just letting it drift and I'm feeling if there's little taps. And if I feel a tap, I'm gonna wait. Maybe for like the second tap. And then depending on how it bites, I'm either gonna set the hook or I'm gonna slowly retrieve. So that's the method. Let's see if we can get one. They saw your posts, dude. That's what happened. What? They saw all your posts. Yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't normally get oh. that many fish, so we really need That's to a bite. Come back for it. Got him. Got one, boys. A little jack. Kind of in between the little jack and the bigger boy, but we got one. It's coming right towards me here. Actually, yeah, it's a decent, decent jack. For a jack. Whoa. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, God, he wrapped himself around me. <laughs> I'll just grab him, I think. All right. Come on now. Shit. I'm trying to just grab this without <laughs> using the net for whatever reason. There it is. Our first fish of the day. Nothing to write home about, but little wild coho, as you can see. Beautiful. Now, this is a jack, so it's a male. Um, however, the shape of this nose here kind of makes me think that it could be a female, <laughs> just the way it looks, if it were an adult. But we're gonna keep this one because this is actually like the perfect eating size. So I'm gonna go ahead and bonk this guy and get him on the stringer. So let's do that right now. So first things first, put the fish down, quickly grab my bonker, put it, him out so he's not suffering anymore. So now that he's bonked, I'm going to bleed it out. Not eat shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my knife and gonna bleed it. So cut the gills on this side and then on the other side. And you can see it still bleeds very well even after you bonk. So it's never a reason to cut the gills without bonking because they're just gonna bleed the same anyway. So I'm gonna stick my stringer in the ground right here. Fish bleeding out right there. Got that first fish now. We're looking for something a little bit bigger though. So stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss what happens next. Oh, that's a bite. Got him. Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 
It's not a jack, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that looks like a nice fish. It's got some weight to her. Finally. So many bites going through that drift. No. Dude, we almost doubled up there? Fuck, we did, bro. I still haven't seen this fish. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let me get the... Woohoo! It's actually nothing crazy, but it felt kind of heavy, honestly. Oh yeah, it's not that big. That's the biggest one you've got this year, bro. That's a huge hen. What? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, actually, that's a. <laughs> that's a nice fish. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta get. No, 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 dude, dude, no way! <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, you put the net down. <laughs> And it like just it. slipped out. I'm trying to get out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get clowned by your subs. <laughs> Dude, I hope so. <laughs> After that performance. <laughs> right in the corner of the mouth there. Rad. Nice fish. Super stoked. Very pretty. Chrome. Gonna bonk her and uh, put her on the stringer. Let's do it. Super hype. All right, take my knife and again, split her out. Nice. Now, Put her on the stringer. So now you guys can see size comparison wise, not too much bigger than the first jack, but in this river, or I guess where I am fishing, jack is less than 20 inches. So pretty sure this fish right here is a bit over 20, but we can measure her when we wrote her down on the cash card. So let's go, super stoked. Let's get another one. Let's get a bigger one. Got him? Yeah. There we go. You want the net? Jack? Oh, nice. That's a good one. So you don't want the net? Got him all the way over there. Another jack, but it's okay. <laughs> Damn, he was all the way over there. That's crazy. Definitely keepable, yeah. Oh, came off. That's okay. No need more jacks. <sighs> all right, guys. Gonna end the video there, gotta go to work. We hooked those three salmon. First two are right here, nice and chrome. This little jack we got first, then this nice sized adult. Very pretty fish. It's gonna cut beautifully, super stoked. And then we lost that third one, but all in all, 
had a super fun time filming this video with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with me. If you guys want to see more salmon fishing content here in the Pacific Northwest, go down, hit the subscribe button, and you can check out some more videos. And if you guys enjoyed this video, catching these salmon right here, be sure to go down, hit the like button. Helps out a ton for the video. And lastly, if you guys want, I'll throw up my Instagram handle over here. I do post some stuff on there that I don't show in these videos. I go fishing a lot where I'm not filming, so if you guys want to see just more content of what I've been up to, go down and check out my Instagram as well too. So anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Had a blast filming it. Ben had a blast catching his fish and losing a ton. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, tight lines y'all.